let's look at our actual code page and starting here with the, the style sheet code and I'm going to scroll down and we're going to watch and continue to see the code that we have which ends here we could remove all of this and put it into its own file and link it or we could leave it alone my suggestion is highlighting it all go to edit cut file new CSS file create now get your cursor in there on line 3 or whatever and hit paste now you're going to hit file save as Save it to your site folder as your default CSS style sheet. Hit save. Now go back to your website and look at it. Ah, what does it look like now? It doesn't look anything like what it should. Well, there's one way to fix it. Well, let's hit save. I want to show you what your website looks like without a style sheet. This is what your website looks like without a style sheet. And this is what we want the spiders that come and look at your website to see. We want them to see your links. We want them to see your heading content and your main content and your copyright information. So how do we get this fixed though? We just cop cut out the edit information so obviously it's not going to use it. Now we have our website without a style sheet. What we need to do is, of course, we're going to open up our CSS block here and we're not going to see any of our style sheet information here anymore because we moved it out. How do we link our style sheet to this page so it would use it? We're going to go down here where it says attach a style sheet. Click on that going to ask you for the URL to the style sheet. So we're going to browse to our site folder and there it is, our default CSS file. Hit OK. Hit OK again and there we have it. Close this out. Our page is actually using that link. Now we're going to hit File, Save. We're going to go to preview our website. still doesn't look right. Something isn't right here. Something's changed and it doesn't look like it used to look. Notice here our fonts and so forth and so on just a look a little, they look different. So something's missing. So we need to go back and look. Let's check it out. I see. Hold on. Pull this out because it's already in our web page. It's in our web page already. That might be what the problem is. It's already in our web page. And Dreamweaver automatically produced that code for us. So let's bring that out. Hit File, Save. Now let's look back and let's see. Let's hopefully it fixed it. Go to File, Preview in Firefox. Now it's fixed it. So it's little things like that where we need to um, look. What happened there was when I went in to select all the code from within the index, I selected style from style to style, went and created a new CSS file, which already included some of those style attributes and the important attributes. So what I had to do was go back to the default, remove the, uh, here, let me show you. I had to remove, let me do actually a few things to show you. We used, when we used Dreamweaver to make a new CSS file, this is what it has in it. Actually, learn to remove that out. 
it depends if you're building it from scratch, okay? So I'm just going to go back to undo and put everything back. If I can, I should be able to. Now, we don't want to have the closing style here. Got to bring that out. And we don't want to have the opening style here either. Bring that out. Hit File, Save. Now it should use our uh, CSS file exactly as we should. So always go back to Edit, Undo. And the same for your website, edit, undo. Any changes that you make to your CSS uh, file from now on, you're going to have to do it like this. Let me show you. You're going to have to open it up, which we remember we named it default. And we're going to have to click on one of the styles, such as the body. And we can make changes to the body code here the container code. Now here, as we were doing before within the website, it will also let you change the properties. So let's say the container. If I click on the container here um, within the index.html file, it's going to show me some of the information here. Um, so either way, you can edit it in the index or the default uh, CSS file. But you, the only thing, the reason why I say it's nice to build a website with the CSS code embedded into the heading of the head of the page, it's a little bit easier to um, edit it out rather than going between two different files all the time to check things and make sure everything works. But you, once you get used to it, you'll see. But I hope you in, uh, enjoyed the tutorial. And uh, maybe now you understand why I didn't want to uh, speak through it because it does get a little bit confusing when I speak, or maybe, I don't know, maybe I explained it very well to you. And um, I thank you for taking the time to view this tutorial. I hope it helped, and uh, let me know. Please, no rude comments, you know, <clears throat> because I really do Be try sure and find me goal here was to help you, not hurt you. Shop.com for more helpful tips on graphic and web design and using Dreamweaver and Paint Shop Professional along with search engine optimization and marketing. Again, that's Michelle with one L, M-I-C-H-E-L-E. -E. And um, if you'd like, you can write to me and request some information on any other tips that you uh, might need. So uh, feel free to visit my website and scroll through the helpful information there.